Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. Today, I've got another rum review for you guys, uh, but firstly, just wanted to say uh, apologies. I know it's been several weeks I've, since I've posted any review. Um, got hit with a really nasty cold, and it's literally taken me two weeks to recover. I uh, lost my voice, but it's just starting to come back now. Um, so apologies for that, guys, and I um, hope to make it up to you with um, several more reviews coming soon. Okay. So two bowls here, uh, this one in the middle is for review. Um, the one on my left is the new Hamden Great House Edition uh, 2023. Um, I wasn't sure which one of these I would review, but I want to give the spirit a bit more time in the bottle in this release, okay? And then I'll give you my thoughts of that quite soon. Okay, so onto this bottle right here. So um, I uh, stumbled upon this bottle recently and it piqued my interest because of its description. Uh, I had to do a little bit of digging into exactly what it is. So the bottle just says um, it's a pure single Jamaican rum. Uh, this is from uh, the Whiskey Blues, which is uh, the parent label, I believe, is Whiskey Age, um, based in Taiwan. Um, so this spirit is a 15-year-old continental aging, 64.3% um, ABV, so very high strength. Uh, cost type is Hogshead and... Um, yeah, cost number 18 and distilled in 2007, bottled in 2022 with a release of 248 bottles. So it doesn't mention what the distillery is, but there's enough clues there um, to give us some idea. And also I looked on the description on the Whiskey Age um, website. And indeed this is um, in Hampton. And um, ester level is 1300 to 1400, so high ester level and that confirms that this is indeed a CH mark, um, which is a mark just below dock, so high esters though, okay. And when I saw that, I got excited because the distillate from 2007, in my opinion, is pretty special. I've had some really special um, Hamptons from um, 2007, uh, significant ones being um, a 10 year old and an 11 year old from the whiskey barrel. Uh, kill, as part of the Kill Devil, or bottled by Kill Devil for the Whiskey Barrel. Those were exceptional uh, releases, it had become quite pricey. So I saw this at a reasonable price, and after digging the, uh, doing, as I say, a bit of research on it, I had to get it, um, because I love, um, I love the CH mark, and specifically um, the 2007 distillate. Okay, and I will say that as soon as I opened up the bottle, I was greeted on the cork with beautiful olives. Um, so that was a, that already, as soon as I smelled the olives and the cork, I was like, right, this is going to be a seriously good rum. Okay, so, um, so let's just do a tasting then and uh, see what we get first on the nose. So just uh, beautiful olives in brine, um, green olives, absolutely stunning. Um, that savory element. Um, but with the olives, you're getting beautiful tropical fruit notes. So there's mango, there's um, pineapple, there's industrial banana, banana milkshake, um, banana bread. There's pineapple loaf or pineapple cake. Beautiful sweetness, uh, vanilla type sweetness, apple sort of pastry, custody sort of pastry element to it, sweet pastries. Um, vegetal, rotting fruit, that sort of element. Yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful nose. And in my opinion, very, very close nose. I mean, I don't have any more of the um, whiskey barrel, 11 year old or 10 year old, but uh, from, if memory serves me correct, this is extremely similar, very, very close. Especially because you're getting the green olives as one of the big notes that come out and that beautiful, beautiful pastry note on the end. Right, let's just, let's just have a sip then, shall we?
beautiful. And the finish, spicy olives and brine, anchovies and vanilla custard with bit apple pastry. Absolutely stunning. Um, so initial arrival, oily in the on the tongue, greeted with beautiful tropical fruits. All of that um, the palate um, translates, uh, sorry, the um, nose translates to the palate well. Pineapple, banana, industrial banana, mango, banana bread, and then it becomes increasingly salty and increasingly dry. Like most Hampton uh, CH uh, marks I've tried that are high strength, completely obliterates all the saliva in your mouth, takes it away, puckering almost lemon, lemon-like feel to it, like you're biting on a lemon. And then after all that, um, that saltiness and dryness, then you start to get more sweetness from the vanilla and also that beautiful olive note in brine, anchovy sort of element to it uh, comes in, into the finish and then you greet it with lots and lots of spice, a bit of uh, heat and then those tropical fruit notes just come back again. So you're getting this beautiful array of flavors with a mix of tropical fruitiness but then you're still getting those savory notes from the olives and then you're getting the spiciness from the barrel and vanilla and custard and the finish with apple, apple pastry which give it a more sweetness. Um, I mean it's just an absolutely stunning rum, absolutely stunning rum um, and um, that finish will just stick to your tongue all night long and um, certainly a dram that you will need to um, take your time with, small sips. You can add some water. I haven't tried it with water yet, but I will do so. But I always like these um, these Hamptons at their natural strengths normally. Um, and even now, it's just becoming beautiful, beautifully, beautifully sweet. And as I was saying, that that uh, taste will stick to your tongue all night and um, will drown out other spirits that you may try. So always keep this as a last dram for the night. Um, the alcohol um, is so is very well integrated. I mean, obviously you're getting. Um, a, a bit of spiciness, I mean this is over 64% ABV, but um, that dryness is just stunning. Um, just the burst of flavours that you get from this sort of rum is just fantastic. And um, um, what a great start to the year, folks. Um, this is already probably, I can quite easily see this being in my uh, top rum of the year for this year. And this is my first rum I've tried. Um, and I think this is, I mean, it's not cheap, but I think it is affordable. It's about 50 quid less than the Whiskey Barrel's 11-year-old release, which I think is quite significant. I can't see this uh, lasting too much longer. I'm sure it'll probably sell out. It's already sold out from Whiskey Age, and the only place um, I've seen it at, and the place I bought it from, was Mulroy's of Soho. Um, so if you check their website, um, I think it's on the third page of the run if you want to get a bottle. Um, as I said, don't hesitate too long. I can't imagine it being too lasting too much longer. I've got a back backup bottle of this um, because I think that this is high quality stuff that's going to be very difficult to get hold of in, in the future. So I think stock up on it. Um, as I say, 50 quid cheaper than the, the whiskey barrel. Um, whiskey barrel's release, and in my opinion, probably just as good. Um, fantastic, fantastic rum. Um, instant purchase for me, absolutely. Delivers all those notes that I'm looking for in a CH mark. And um, the extra bit of aging, I mean, it's up to 15 years, I mean, it still looks very light. And that's obviously because of the continental aging. But big, big rum um, that you could spend all night with and just nose and just sit and enjoy it and also play with it with water if you wish, I guess. Okay. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, so that's. Uh, Hampton 15 year old from Whiskey Blues, uh, CH Mark, uh, 64, over 64% ABV, absolute winner, absolute stunner in my opinion, and a great start to the year. Okay guys, okay so if you guys have enjoyed my content then please like, comment and subscribe to the channel, it's always appreciated. But as usual folks, uh, there's not much, miles, not much else to say except have a fantastic day, I'll see all of you again soon. Take care guys, cheers.